Hey everybody. So, I am reading more of House of Salt and Sorrow by Aaron A. Craig. Um, I'm almost done, actually. Hey, I'm on page I meant to say it was on 322, and, and there's only 400 pages. Seconds. Sorry about that. I should be done with it today. It's really good. For a while, I thought it was going to be like a four, maybe, I mean, a three, yeah, probably a four, four, yeah, probably a four, but now I'm thinking four and a half to a five. It is so good. I'm just kind of confused on what's going on, but otherwise, oh my gosh, is it good. I mean, a lot of twists and turns, and yeah. There's stuff in here I didn't know that was going to be in here because I tried not to um, read spoiler or watch any videos that would spoil it for me. So yeah, I do have some colors, even though I don't remember what I was using them for. I was just sticking whatever color I grabbed at the time. But yeah, I am almost done. It, oh my gosh, I just love this character, Anna Lee. And I like Cassius, or how do you say his name? Oh my gosh, is he something else. And I'm still not trusting, um, uh, I don't always forget his name, Fisher. I'm still not trusting this Fisher guy. I mean, I could be wrong. It might not, he might not, you know, there might be nothing wrong with him, but I just don't trust him. Do you guys ever have like that feeling and sometimes the feeling's right and other times it isn't? So we don't know, but I just have that feeling that something is off with him. I just don't know what it is. But I can't wait to see how it all ends. It's really interesting. I don't think it's going to be a favorite of the year. But it's good, you guys. Like, really, really good. So, I'm really liking it a lot. And it's really good for this time of the year. I think this will be another one of those books that I'd probably like to read every um, like Halloween time, you know, like in the month of, November, of October. So, yeah, I'm really liking it. So, yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go. I just want to update you guys, and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye! Hey, everybody. I have an update. Um, yeah, I am almost done with House of Salt and Sorrow. Sorrows. I always forget to put the S in there. It is so good, you guys. Like, oh my gosh. I'm at like 322, 323, somewhere around there. And there's 400 pages, so I'm almost done. But, oh my gosh, this is really good. I don't know if it's going to be a favorite of the year. Just depending on the end, it might be. But right now, it's at least sitting at between a 4.5 and a 5. One of those two. But depending on how it ends, it could be like a favorite book of the year. I mean, wow. It is so good, like really, really good, you guys. Like, uh, I did. I knew some of the stuff that was gonna happen just because, you know, twelve dancing princesses or whatever it is and stuff like that. But there's this one part in this book that happened that I found out about, and I'm like, wow, I could, I would have never thought that. So yeah, spoiler, of course. Even though it might not be spoiler, it's just spoilery because of my feelings. So my feelings could be right about the spoiler. I mean, about what I'm feeling, but it could still be wrong. So just in case, I'm going to say spoiler. So don't watch this little part just in case you do not want to be spoiled with my thoughts. Because, you know, just because I'm thinking this way does not mean that it's true because I'm not there yet. I'm right at the end, so I could be totally off. But anyways... Skip ahead until I put the book down if you do not want to chance being spoiled. But yeah, I'm thinking that maybe Fisher is involved. There's this one character, his name is Fisher. He's either involved or I'm feeling like maybe somebody took over him or something like that. I don't know. Just, there's a part. Now this part is spoiled already, for sure. So this part you really don't want to watch if you don't want to be spoiler. Spoiled. Okay, so if you don't want to be spoiled, then please definitely don't watch this part here. And like I said the first time around, just wait until I go pat, I mean, put the book down, okay? All right, bye if you don't want to be spoiled. So, like, you know, they go, this part ain't spoilery, but, you know, in the book, it's talked about them, like, finding a place and they go dancing. Well, Cassius 
found um, Anna Lee in her room dancing around. They thought they went somewhere, like that they went outside and and got led to this place where they dance, but they're really in their room dancing. And they found everybody that went, that they thought went together to the ball or to the dance in their rooms dancing around besides Fisher. So it just seems weird because Fisher went with them. So yeah, okay, spoiler, done. But yeah, so it's really good, you guys. Um, definitely going to be at least a four and a half to five star. Depending on the last 60, 70 pages, it could be a favor of the year. So we'll see. But I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye. Hey, everybody. So I finished it. I would have gave it a six stars, but there's a couple little things that I didn't like. Nothing like major that made me really knock it down too much. But also because like it took me almost to, I mean it took me over a hundred, I mean like a, like about a hundred pages to really get into the book. So those little two things are what made it go down from a six to a five. And because you don't know, six is just my personal one for my favorites of the year. Uh, Beautiful Bookish Bethany is the one that started me with that. So yeah, I did really enjoy it though, and I think it's probably one of my favorite owl crate books. I don't know if it's my favorite all crate book, but one of my favorite all crate books. So, yay. I don't know what I'm going to read right now. So, once I decide what I'm going to read, I will get back to you guys and let you know what I'm thinking about it. But for right now, um, that is it. I'll talk to you guys all when I have another book that I'm going to be reading. Bye. Hey, everybody. Rowan. Say hi to everybody. Roro, Roro, say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Yep, he's being all. You guys see him like sticking out his tongue. <coughs> hey, bye, 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 bye. Rowan, 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 rolling in the deep. Rowan, Rowan, rolling in the deep. Hey boy, do you still got that thing in your mouth? No, it's just by your paw. Let me see if he'll... Got it! Watch. See if he'll go chase after it. <laughs> I didn't go very far. I didn't do a very good job. But sometimes it's hard to get the right angle to do it. He stole the cat's mouse. He, told, he stole Callie's mouse. This dog thinks that all the toys are his because he's a big moose he's a big big moose but he's a cute moose aren't you boy you're a cute moose aren't you boy you a cute moose isn't he handsome you guys he's just nothing but a big old baby you know he tried to bite me twice today not to break skin though you know he just enough that he was like back off girl and all I was doing was trying to move him out of the way for he wouldn't get out when the kids left this morning. And I don't even remember what I did the second time, but he got mad. But look at him. Now he's looking up because his daddy's coming in. Yeah, because his daddy's coming in. Yep. Okay. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. It is Tuesday. It is like almost 10 o'clock. Uh, I decided I'm going to go back to um, trying to read some books for um, the Slayer Fest that I'm a part of, Slayer, Slayer Fest 19 that I'm doing, that I'm a part of, you know, that I'm doing the, I'm not, you know, I'm not a host or anything, but you know what I mean, that I'm reading prompts for. Um, so far, I read, I finished two, I finished Xander, The Loyal Sidekick, which is read your go-to author or reread your favorite. And that was City of Ghosts. I really love City of Ghosts. And I finished number six, Drusilla the Insane. Book with a black and black and red on the cover, and that was Tunnel of Oats. Um, I DNF Nine Pals, which is a read a dark or taboo book. So I did read A Man Is So Discreet, and it is about like a sane asylum and stuff like that. So I could 
replace it with that. So that's what I'm going to do. So actually I finished three. So I'm going to put this down here. Boop, boop. Put go here. Seven again. I don't know if I have anything on the back. No, okay. Anyways, um, so I'm going to do a Madness So Discreet for that one. Because that will work. Madness So. B I S C R E E T. Okay. So I actually finished three books. So I finished Faith, which is a bad girl. Read a dark or taboo book. And for that one, I did it. Madness so discreet because it's about a saint. The beginning's about a saint. Well, the whole thing is she is, the whole setting is with her in the saint asylum. Just two different ones. A really bad one that it started out with and then one that wasn't so bad. But there's a lot of darkness in it because there's killing, you know, uh, there's rape in it. So it's very dark and taboo. So now I'm going to read, I'm going to try to read, um, Serpent and the D Serpent and Dove, which is for um, let me see again. Oh, Spike the bad boy. Read a book with a hate to love trope, because um, you know he's he's a um, or she's a a witch and he's a witch hunter, and yeah, and you know I'm doing it that way. That it's their love to hate type of book. So, um, yeah. And I don't know if you can double on here, but if you can double on here, this would also work for, um, let me find it. Um, covered by, because I would buy this totally for the cover. So, this could work for a cover by. Look how pretty. And this could also work for um, a couple of them. A, wit a witch, which I'm not doing. Willow the Wicca read a witchy reads. That would be this. I was ha I had Sabrina on there, but everybody's not liking Sabrina, so I don't feel like reading it. So I can even use, if you can double, I can use this for two of them. And I forgot to write down what I defeated so far, because if you defeat three... One to two books, I think, and stuff like that. And then I had to go back to Slayer Fest and look because I can't remember, like, where I'm at so far, how many I beated. I mean, yeah, I think I beated two things so far with reading three books. So we'll see. Technically, I can see if some of my other books, because I was reading them during other readathons, I was reading other books that would, might fit this prompt. So I'm going to probably do that later on. And go and look and see if any of my other books will fit these prompts. Because I've read 11 books so far. If I can get some more of these to fit the 11, I'd be doing good. I only wrote down the first 8, though. So I'd have to go back on to the website and um, find out what the other prompts were. Sorry, it feels like I got something in my, stuck in my eye. So I think that's what I'm going to do later when I get, when I have time, I'll go out there and... Look at all my books and see what will fit in what prompts. Because this is the whole month, this readathon. So I did read those, even though they're not on my TBR. I did read them during the, during the um, readathon month. So I can still add those if any of them will fit. So we will see. So I think I'm going to try to read this. And then I'm probably going to go to um, Cordelia, Cordelia, the mean girl. Read a cover by or beautiful book and I got the memory thief that's definitely a beautiful book and I also want to get to um, at least Buffy the hero read a book with a badass female pro protagonist and that one is Thunderhead I did start that just haven't finished it yet because I wanted to save that for like the end of this week so if if I get that done I get this one done at least yeah so hopefully some of my other books will also work. So we'll see. If they do, I'll update you on what they work for. But I'm going to let you guys go, and I will talk to you guys all later. Bye for now. Hey, everybody. I haven't read anything today, but I just got a book from Amazon that I ordered the other day. So I wanted to show you what I got. Good 
da 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 This is what I got. The Never Tilting World by Ren Chipeco, the author of The Bone Witch. It says on the back, a demonist is what they call a goddess that man, that man, I mean that men cannot control. Two sisters broke the world. Two sisters will save it. That never ended in Tilton Wells, like I was saying. What do you guys think? Oh, don't you love that cover? It's gorgeous. Such a pretty cover. I think I have the Bone Witch. Or I did. I might have got rid of it. I don't remember. Just looks like this on there. Nothing special, but I love the writing, how they write on here. I think that's so pretty. And then there's like the little symbol there. I'll read to you in a minute what it's about. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And yes, I always have to check to see if they got a map in it, and they do. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love maps. Okay, this book is. Um, Let me see, I'll tell you how many pages. Mm. 481? Yeah, 481 pages. Okay, now I'll read to you what it says. It says, a world split between day and night. It says, remarkable is beauty and fearsome in power. Generations of twin goddess have long world eon. So my dad is A-E-O-N. Until 17 years ago, when one sister's betrayal defied an ancient prophecy and split their world in two, the planet ceased to spin and three quarters of the world perished. Now a great abyss, abyss, yeah, abyss, divides the planet, one side cloaked in perpetual night, the other scorched beneath an unrelenting sun. Says, well, one sister world's Arthena, Athena, Arthena, something like that. A frozen city surrounded by a storm wrecked, wrecked sea. Her twin sister inhabits the sun locked golden city. Each goddess has raised a daughter, and each goddess keeps her own secret about the past. But when the special spectral but when the spectral forces some summons those daughters to the side of the breaking the two young goddesses, along with a powerful healer from Arnef and a Rousey, Rousey, Mousey, yeah, Mousey, deserted scavenger, set out on a separate journey across treacherous wastelands, desperate to heal the broken world, no matter the sacrifice it demands. I know I butchered that. You guys probably like, what did you just say? <laughs> Some of those words, like, I just couldn't get out of my mouth right. But you guys should know that's one of my things. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. But yeah, if I have something else to do to talk about, I will do it later. Okay, you guys. I'm going to leave you guys alone for now. Bye. I love you guys as a friend. Take care until I update you later.